Hello again. In this episode, we are going to address the question of why uh, deferring tax in RMDs will actually cost you more. Yeah, this is my son, Emran, and he's been involved with me uh, since you were very, very young. He's a co-author with me on uh, two of our best-selling books. We're going to dispel some myths here that the best way to preserve assets is by taking the minimum or the RMD, required minimum distribution out of an IRA or 401k if you don't need the money starting at age 70 and a half. Also, that it's the best way to pay less in tax. You're going to be shocked with what he shares with you. And uh, that it's the best income option. No, it isn't. So put your seatbelt on. You're going to be blown away in some facts that most people don't understand, even CPAs and tax attorneys. Like Doug mentioned, most people tend to put off pulling money out of their IRAs and 401ks and just take advantage of uh, the required minimum distributions at age 70 and a half because they think it's the best way to preserve the asset. It's the best way to minimize their taxes and it's the best way to generate the greatest amount of income. But as we're gonna see here, that just isn't true. I'm gonna take a 62 year old male that I met with uh, recently here and uh, take a look at the, the situation he was in. Now, when I look at the numbers, I want you to be able to interpolate the numbers. It doesn't matter whether this is $300,000 in an IRA or 401k, $900,000 or $1.9 million in, uh, in an IRA or 401k. The principles are always going to be the same. So what we wanna see here is the difference between what if we do a proactive strategic rollout approach versus a just traditional, let's delay until I'm age 70 and a half and just pull out required minimum distributions. So in this situation, a 62 year old uh, male has uh, $1.9 million sitting in his IRA slash 401ks. And again, his normal uh, goal was just to wait until 70 and a half to ensure that the money grows and, and has enough money and figures that, you know, wants to pay the least amount of tax as possible. Well, what we did in, in comparison to that is start our strategic rollout right away, taking advantage of the lower tax rates and the room he has in his existing tax rates. So we're gonna look at that comparison, but first and foremost, let's just go ahead and take a look at the actual RMD. So in the actual RMD at age 70 and a half, what you're gonna see is that if he delays and waits, that $1.9 million is gonna to grow to a total of $3,264,000. Now that's the gross number. If you remember in an IRA or 401k, this is not a sole proprietorship, this is a partnership. So some of that money belongs to you and some of that belongs to Uncle Sam. So based upon just existing tax brackets, you know, about $2 million of the 3.2, 2.1 would belong to him. But another million, a million one would belong to Uncle Sam, the IRS. And so so with that in mind there, he's got a, a looming tax bill. Now he doesn't have to pay it until he pulls the money out, but that's still going to go to the IRS in one form or the other. And if I try to string it out over my lifetime, we're going to see exactly what ends up happening here. So instead, what we're going to look at uh, establishing is pulling out $200,000 a year starting right now at age 62. Don't wait. If I pull that $200,000 out, then yes, I'm going to net, I'm going to have to pay taxes. So I'll net about $160,000 that can go into either a Roth conversion strategy or what I would prefer is straight into the laser fund, tax-free just like the Roth IRA. So in doing so, the RMD comparison at age 70 and a half, again, if he's got $3.2 million of gross sitting in there, he's going to have to pull out a total of $119,000 as his required minimum distribution at age 70 and a half. He'll pay taxes on that and net 77,980. So a net income at age 70 and a half of 77,980, not bad. But again, if I compare that to the strategic rollout where I pulled out the $200,000, netted the 160 and put that inside the laser fund. What does the laser fund do for me? Because it really focuses on what it can generate for me in the time of life that I need it the most. And you'll see the laser fund is going to calculate an income stream of about $233,000 tax free. So with my RMD, I'm pulling out $119,000, paying taxes, netting 77,000, and I get to go spend 77,000 or I have the alternative inside the laser fund, I get to go spend $233,000. That's about three times, that's a 200% increase in his net spendable retirement income. And that's only at age 70 and a half. Fast forward five more years in here, if we fast forward five more years, you're gonna see I've got $3.7 million sitting inside of the 
401k still, or the IRA. Now again, out of that, uh, I still owe my taxes, and so I am only have a, have a net of about $2.4 million. My RMD at age 75 is $163,000, netting me, net after tax, $100,000 that I get to go spend. Inside of the laser fund, it stays the same. I'm still pulling out the same $233,000. So still more than 100% more income than I'm able to access or go spend inside of, uh, inside of the laser fund approach. Now overall, tax-wise, if you simply go the RMD route, what is my cumulative taxes I've been paying up so far? So I've only had to pay taxes for five years, but if you look at that cumulatively, I'll have paid $291,000 in taxes. So by age 75, I'm, I've already paid 300 grand versus in the, in the strategic rollout, I've got all my taxes basically over and done with. And we'll look at the overall comparison on that as we finish it up here. Income wise, the laser fund has given me a total over those five years, $1.4 million tax free. Compared to the uh, RMDs, if I just pull out my RMDs every year, I've, I've netted $551,000. So $551 compared to $1.4. We're doing pretty good so far, but let's keep going. Age 75, let's go, let's just go all the way to age 100. You're a centurion, you live to age 100. What did we do? Did we pay more or less in taxes than the RMD versus the strategic rollout? Well, as we take the snapshot here, the uh, balance inside of the uh, IRA under RMDs would be approximately $2.3 million, netting 1.2 after tax. Compare that inside the laser fund, I've got $2.6 million of cash sitting there available for me at age 100. So $2.6 million net tax-free compared to $1.2 million net after tax. Doing better so far. Good, better, best. We're going to keep on going. So at the income side of things, you're going to see that I'm still pulling out $233,000 even at age 100. So by age 100, I've pulled out $6.7 million out of my laser fund. So out of my laser fund tax-free, I've been able to go enjoy over those 30 years in my retirement, $6.7 million tax-free versus the alternative is just taking out my RMDs. And if I just simply access my RMDs, I went and spent $4.4 million. So that is, a, that is gonna be a massive difference of overall income. Taxes, let's look at the overall taxes. Over my RMDs be between age 70 and by age 100, I'll have paid $3.4 million in taxes. Almost three and a half million dollars in taxes. And I'm still not done because I still have over a million dollars owing in the balance when I die that my kids are gonna have to keep on paying. So I'll, I'll pay well over four, four, four and a half million dollars in taxes if I just simply take the RMD route. Versus the laser fund, what did I pay? To transition all the way over between six, age 62 and age 75, I transitioned all of my money over and pay taxes of 500 and $70,000. What would you rather pay a tax bill of? Three and a half million dollars on your hard-earned cash? Or would you rather only pay $570,000 in taxes? Comparing this overall, the whole summary of it is, again, the laser fund has a balance of 2.6 million compared to the IRA has a net balance of 1.2. The laser fund generated $7.2 million of tax-free income versus the RMDs were only $4.8 million. The laser fund total then was $9.8 million of resources versus the uh, IRA had uh, total resources of $6 million. Folks, that's a $3.7 million better result. By doing RMDs, it is costing you an opportunity and in pure money, $3.7 million. This is not just small change here, this is significant. This totally transforms your retirement to where you can reclaim those golden years. And again, it doesn't matter whether it's $1.9 million because if it's even $700,000, the results are still the same. $700,000, the ratio is still, by age 100, I'll have a million dollars sitting inside of my laser fund compared to only $468,000 inside of an RMD strategy. I'll have enjoyed almost $3 million, $2.99 million tax-free of income coming from a laser fund versus my RMDs would have given me $1.7 million. So over a million dollars more of income with only a $700,000 IRA. So that's a total of $4 million of total resources on that $700,000 IRA over my retirement years compared to only $2.2 million in resources if I simply follow an RMD strategy, making it a $1.8 million better 
choice. Choose the easy route. Don't keep on delaying because if you keep on delaying, the IRS is going to take it from you. And you can reclaim an extra $1.8 million for your future. What would you do with an extra $1.8 million? I'm sure you could travel a lot more. You could see those grandchildren a lot more. There's a lot more you could do. And if you don't need the money, fantastic. Leave it behind to, uh, again, bless your loved ones inside of your own uh, laser bank, inside of your own legacy bank. So what can this do for you? Well, hopefully it can help you reclaim to be able to take that future back. Take care of those loved ones, whether it's your spouse, your children, your grandchildren. Think of all of the wonderful things that you can help bless them with, whether it's a college education, whether it's generating those moments that matter. You can generate an extra $1.8 million of moments that matter by giving them those experiences that they're gonna need to continue to succeed and follow in your own footsteps. So take the future, reclaim it for yourself. So did that blow you away? Uh, this is a strategy uh, we refer to as strategic rollouts, but people are shocked when they see the amount of tax that they're gonna pay if they string it out, thinking they're saving money by taking required minimum distributions. Hopefully you got some epiphanies with that. If this resonated with you because of Emran's presentation and you want to learn more, take a deeper dive, I would love for you to get a copy of our most recent best-selling book. We co-authored this with my other son, Aaron, The Laser Fund. And uh, you can click down here and get a free copy sent to you for a nominal uh, shipping and handling fee. But in this book, it's actually two books in one. This is about 200 pages, 14 chapters, all kinds of charts and graphs. And there's a chapter devoted specifically to the strategic rollouts. Uh, if you like the stories instead of just the, the graphs, you flip the book over and you read this. This has 12 chapters with uh, 62 actual client stories and there's a chapter dedicated with actual stories of how we have saved people 250,000, 500,000, a million two for two physicians I'm thinking about. So click down here, get your free copy and we'll see you on the inside of that education.